50 years since his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada founded the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. And what an extraordinary man he was. At the age of 70, he traveled by ship from India to Boston, suffering two heart attacks on the way. He arrived in America alone and penniless, but he created this global mission, traveling the world to spread his message. And look at it today, active in 100 countries, with 650 temples, centers, schools, and colleges. And here's the best number of all, helping to serve 1.2 million free meals to poor children in India every single day. Let's hear it for those amazing achievements. So I look at what you've done in the last 50 years, and I think how much you can achieve in the next 50. In fact, the next half century starts right now as we begin building the new spiritual hall. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Ye Gita, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, or Swami Prabhupada ke Sraddhalu ki bhakti or samarpan ka pratik hai. Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Prabhupada ji ne to khud ko Bhagavad Gita ke liye samarpit kar diya tha. मानव मुक्ति की अलग जगह नहीं दे दुनिया के भ्रमण पर निकल गए अपनी मजबूत इच्छा शक्ति से हर प्रकार की चुनौतियों का सामना करते हुए उन्होंने इस कौन जैसा एक अभियान छेड़ा जो आज भगवान श्री कृष्ण के दिखाए मार से दुनिया को परिचित कराने में जुटा हुआ है हरे कृष्णा I'm, I'm inspired by the work of, of this of this temple and the, and the community here, and it's not only a, a place of great spirituality, of course, that attracts tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, but it's also the centre of lots and lots of community organisation, community uh, activity, bringing people together in all sorts of ways. And what a wonderful privilege it is for me to be here in this place of immense spirituality. Uh, I slept on the floor in friends' rooms. I returned Coke bottles for the five-cent deposits to buy food with. And I would walk the seven miles across town every Sunday night to get one good meal a week at the Hare Krishna temple. I loved it. And much of what I stumbled into by following my curiosity and intuition turned out to be priceless later on. The founder, Acharya, of this movement Srila Prabhupada Ji, during his lifetime, he contributed tremendously in spreading this culture, eternal message of humanity, which is the blessings, which is the teachings of Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavad, Chandalo Pidijasrashto Hari Bhakti Parayama. If you submit to Lord, if you can communicate to Him, you are better than any learned man, any high caste man, however social status you may have. This is the eternal message. During the outbreak of coronavirus in 2020, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in his government letter asked ISKCON to guide the citizens of Delhi in terms of mental health and make them happy. U.S. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. It's impossible to fully describe the innumerable spiritual truths gifted to us by Isi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. I will attempt to highlight one key profound insight that I find to be so relevant and deeply needed in the world we live in today. Srila Prabhupada established unequivocally that real spiritual understanding or real religion transcends sectarianism, as we've seen so beautifully here tonight. 
In ignorance of our spiritual identity, our eternal loving relationship with the Supreme Lord and with each other. A reporter once asked A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada if he found any conflict in drawing on the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, as well as Vedic scriptures in his teachings. And he replied, no, I don't find any conflict because the ultimate goal is God. So you have to understand God and try to love him. Srila Prabhupada taught us this simple truth. Just love God. Just love Krishna. Hare Krishna.